Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. I got a very special video. In this video, we're going to be comparing the iPhone 12 Pro Max compared to the S21 Ultra 5G. Now, these are two of the uh, flagship devices from Apple and Samsung, respectively. Uh, they are uh, some of the best products that you can buy in terms of phones today. So it'll be very interesting to see how these two phones fare. And I'll be giving you the final decision right at the end of the video, which shows which one of these devices are the best. So let's start off with pricing. So the starting price of the Galaxy S21 Ultra is $1,199 versus the starting price for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is $1,099. So you can see there's a $100 difference and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is actually $100 cheaper than the S21 Ultra. Now in terms of screen size, the S21 Ultra has a 6.8 inch screen, that's 3200 by 1400, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch screen, which has a resolution of 2788 by 1284. Now in terms of display refresh, it goes from 10 hertz uh, to 120 hertz on the S21 Ultra, compared to only 60 hertz on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The CPU on the S21 Ultra is a Snapdragon 888 processor versus an A14 Bionic. In terms of RAM, you have two variants for the S21 Ultra. You have a 12 gigabyte RAM model and a 16 gigabyte RAM model. And in terms of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you only have a 6 gigabyte RAM model. Now, when it comes to storage, you have the same storage capacities for both of these devices. So when it comes to storage, you get 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, and 512 gigabytes uh, for both these devices. And the storage is not expandable uh, for the S21 Ultra and also for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now in previous iterations of Samsung devices, you can still use the micro SD card and get expandable storage up to one terabyte, but that's no longer the case as the S21 Ultra is what you get right out of the box. Uh, there's no more expandable storage. Now in terms of rear cameras, uh, the S21 Ultra has a 108 megapixel F1.18 camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide F2.2 camera, a 10 megapixel telephoto 3 times zoom uh, f2.4 camera and a 10 megapixel telephoto 10 times zoom f4.9 camera with a laser and autofocus sensor versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max which has a 12 megapixel wide camera which is f1.6 12 megapixel f2.4 camera and a 12 megapixel uh, f2.2 uh, camera so you can see that is the capacity of these three cameras on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now the front camera on the S21 Ultra is actually 40 megapixels. Yes, 40 megapixels on the S21 Ultra. Uh, so that's definitely an astounding amount of megapixels and it is f2.2. Now in terms of the front camera on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, well the front camera on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is only 12 megapixels. So true depth a sensor with f2.2. So that is the camera quality and it's much less than 40 megapixels. In terms of water resistance for both these devices, it is IP68 up to 1.5 meters uh, for the S21 Ultra and it's IP68 up to 6 meters for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that is something uh, to definitely note that the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a better uh, depth in water in terms of water resistance. Now when it comes to the battery, the S21 Ultra has a 5000 milliamp hour battery versus the 3678 a milliamp hour battery on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, when it comes to battery life, you get a slightly longer battery life on the S21 Ultra with 11 hours and 25 minutes with a 60 hertz uh, screen or 10 hours and seven minutes with an adaptive screen. And you get 10 hours and 53 minutes on the iPhone 12 Pro Max in terms of battery life. Now, when it comes to size, the S21 Ultra 5G is slightly bigger as you can see. Uh, when you look at the size of the S21 Ultra, it's 6.5 uh, by 2.97 by 0 0.35 inches compared to uh, 6.33 uh, by 3.07 times 0 0.29 inches on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, the S21 Ultra weighs slightly heavier at 8.08 ounces uh, compared to 8.03 ounces on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So when we take a look at the price on both these devices, yes, Samsung has cut the price on its S21 phones by $200 compared to uh, $20, but 
Uh, Apple still holds the pricing edge here. The iPhone 12 Pro Max starts at $1,099, which is actually $100 cheaper than the S21 Ultra's $1,199 cost. However, it's less expensive uh, to boost storage on the S21 Ultra, where upgrading to the 256 version of the S21 Ultra uh, costs an extra $50 versus the need to pay an extra $100 for the 256GB iPhone 12 Pro Max and the 512GB uh, Galaxy S21 Ultra is also cheaper than the equivalent iPhone 12 Pro Max which is $1,379 versus $1,399. So it's actually cheaper as the storage goes up on the S21 Ultra compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, when it comes to the design on both these devices, the Galaxy S21 Ultra sports a new uh, contour cut camera design that blends with the camera into its glass back. So it's a really interesting design overall. I really like it. It's definitely a sleek look, but the Ultra is still a beast of a phone uh, at 6.5 by 2.97 by 0 0.35 inches and 8.08 .08 ounces. Uh, the S21 Ultra is taller, thicker, and heavier than the iPhone 12 Pro Max overall. Uh, so that's something to note, uh, as the iPhone 12 Pro Max only measures in at 6.33 uh, by 3.07 by 0 0.29 inches and weighs 8.03 ounces compared to 8.08 .08 ounces of the S21 Ultra. Now when we compare both these devices, you can see that they definitely do have two different designs. Now the iPhone 12 Pro Max is more squared and the Galaxy S21 Ultra is more curved. Uh, so that's something to note. Now the Galaxy S21 Ultra comes in uh, the colors of Phantom Silver and Phantom Black. Uh, so those are the two colors that it comes in, but you can also get it uh, in navy, titanium, or brown through samsung.com, uh, but the main carriers only carry it in uh, phantom silver and phantom black, uh, whereas Apple offers uh, the colors for the iPhone 12 Pro Max in silver, graphite, uh, gold, and pacific blue uh, for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So those are all the variants of colors that you can get. Now, the iPhone 12 Pro Max has the advantage in terms of overall durability and water resistance, so that's something to note. And the ceramic shield display on the iPhone uh, is designed to offer four times uh, better uh, drop performance than its predecessor. And it actually has performed very well when it comes to drop tests, so that's something to note. Uh, and now Samsung doesn't have any such claims uh, for the Gorilla Glass on the S21 Ultra or anything like that. So that also is something to note. So you can clearly see that uh, the iPhone would actually have to win in this category. Now, once again, the iPhone 12 Pro Max has better uh, water resistance overall with an IP68 water resistance of up to six meters compared to only 1.5 meters of the Samsung uh, Galaxy S21 Ultra. So that's something to note. Now, one of the biggest complaints of the iPhone 12 Pro Max is that huge notch that it has. So that is a comparison uh, between the two. So you can see how much of the uh, notch on the iPhone 12 Pro Max it takes up compared to the uh, S21 Ultra's uh, small punch hole design for the front facing camera. So it's not much of a comparison when we really take a look at it. So the overall winner in terms of design would have to be the iPhone 12 Pro Max just due to its stunning design and it just feels more solid. Now the S21 Ultra also does have a good design and everything like that, but just two different feels. Now this is actually a matte design on the S21 Ultra, uh, so that's something to note. Uh, but overall, I just prefer the design of the iPhone 12 Pro Max.
it's definitely very noticeable when you take a look at these two displays, uh, especially uh, how Samsung prides themselves in making the best possible display. Now the reason why you want to have a faster refresh rate is that it enables smoother scrolling and better performance in the games that support it. The 6.8 inch screen on the S21 Ultra is also a bit sharper than the panel on the iPhone 12 Pro Max with a screen resolution on the S21 Ultra of 3200 by 1400 compared to 2778 by 1284. Uh, that's a difference between 515 pixels per inch on the S21 Ultra compared to 458 pixels per inch on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now Samsung keeps the winning streak going by just registering a higher uh, brightness on all the tests have, that have been done. Uh, it notched a reading of 821 nits compared to 654 nits on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And Apple's display did pull ahead in terms of color reproduction, reaching 84.8% of the DCI P3 color gamut, whereas the S21 Ultra managed 81.4%. But the overall winner in terms of display has to be the S21 Ultra, and there is no comparison. So you can just see how immersive it looks and it takes up the full screen and there is no annoying notch whatsoever uh, to take the quality away or anything like that. The Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max battle largely hinges on the cameras. And both of the, and both of the cameras are very well put together. The Galaxy S21 Ultra packs four rear lenses plus a laser autofocus sensor and the main camera on the S21 Ultra is a 108 megapixel camera a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a dual 10 megapixel telephoto lens, uh, one capable of three times optical zoom and the other capable of 10 times zoom. Whereas the iPhone 12 Pro Max features a main 12 megapixel sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 12 megapixel telephoto zoom lens with 2.5 optical zoom. There's also a LiDAR sensor that helps with low light photography and portraits. And the cameras on the Galaxy S21 Ultra and iPhone 12 Pro Max are both great, but they excel in different areas. And the S21 Ultra wins in terms of zoom performance, but because the lens just simply pushes much further than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So here we have the camera interfaces on both. Uh, we can go to the ultra wide mode uh, and here we have the ultra wide mode. Then we can go to the other ultra wide mode right here and then we can go to the normal uh, one time zoom. And then we can go into uh, the three time zoom on the uh, Galaxy S21 Ultra and then we have the 2.5 zoom on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And then we have the super zoom 10 times zoom and we can go all the way to 100 times zoom right here. Uh, so that's 100 times zoom on the S21 Ultra. So the S21 Ultra definitely wins the zoom capability. And in terms of the zoom on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can only get a 12 times zoom compared to a 100 times zoom on the S21 Ultra. Now in terms of low light performance, I give the edge to the iPhone 12 Pro Max due to the LiDAR sensor. In terms of zoom, I would give the uh, edge to the S21 Ultra, but in terms of overall camera quality, I'll have to give the edge to the iPhone as it just is a winner across all categories in terms of photography. The camera on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is just simply very vivid uh, and it just brings pictures to life and there's and less of the colors are washed out and it looks very, very pristine and clear on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now when we talk about performance on both these devices, the Galaxy S21 Ultra packs a fast Snapdragon 888 chip and 12 gigabytes of RAM, but it's a step behind the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max has better benchmarks and real world tests. On Geekbench 5, the S21 Ultra notched 3440 on the multi-core test and 1,123 on the single core test compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which cleared 4,100 and 1,600 on both tests. So you can see the iPhone performed better on Geekbench tests and the S21 Ultra performed fairly well on 3D Mark with the wildlife graphics benchmark hitting 34 frames per second. However, the iPhone 12 Pro Max averaged a higher 41 frames per second. And then video editing using Adobe Premiere Rush app, the S21 Ultra took one minute and two seconds to transcode a 4K video to 1080p and the iPhone 12 Pro Max only needed 28 seconds. So 28 seconds versus one minute and two seconds is a big gap between the two. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max is just simply better optimized overall. Now when it comes to the battery on both these high quality devices, the Galaxy S21 
Ultra makes full use of its 5,000 mAh battery as the phone lasted a very impressive 11 hours and 25 minutes on the battery test and the iPhone 12 Pro Max endured 10 hours and 53 minutes. When the screen mode is set to adaptive on the S21 Ultra, uh, which is 120 hertz, the runtime dipped down to 10 hours and 7 minutes. So neither Apple or Samsung included a charger in the box, but both phones are capable of fast charging. So the S21 Ultra reached 56% in 30 minutes, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max hit only 47% in the same amount of time. So the overall winner in terms of battery life is the S21 Ultra, as it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery compared to a 3,300 milliamp hour battery on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And just the overall test, it will last longer on the S21 Ultra as it just has a better optimized battery compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, if we compare the software on both these devices, iOS 14 brings a host of welcome features to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, including widgets on the home screen uh, and easy access to info, including a smart stack of uh, several widgets on one spot. You also do get the new app library that's uh, present in iOS 14 as well. And now you can see how easy it is to add widgets on iOS 14 as well. So this is a feature that has been on Androids forever, but it's finally on iOS 14. So you can see Apple software is slightly getting better. And overall, Apple software also delivers a lot of helpful tweaks to messages such as pinned conversations and inline replies. The design of iOS 14 is also uh, sleeker too, and you get more uh, compact Siri. Uh, so this is what Siri looks like now instead of taking up the whole screen. Uh, so that's something to note. Uh, and the call interface stays out of your way, so just be a notification right here. It won't take up the whole screen when you get a call, so that's also very good so it's getting a lot more sleeker and there's airpods pro integration which so the airpods are just by far the most popular uh, wireless earbuds and you also do get spatial audio which gives you a 360 degree sound experience and also you get an iphone because you want to be integrated into the apple ecosystem and if you have one device missing out of the apple ecosystem it messes everything up so the iphone uh, really ties everything in together now compared to the S21 Ultra 5G, uh, it just runs on Samsung's One UI 3.0 atop of Android 11, and it brings some great additions of its own. This includes a wide selection of widgets that you can access without unlocking your phone. You get the quick panel, which is now easier to customize and get things done faster. And there's also exclusive camera tricks, such as director's view, which lets you use your front and back camera at the same time while recording a video. Now the most unique feature in the S21 Ultra, which is a new and very, very unique feature now is actually the ability to have S Pen support. So the S21 Ultra has a digitizer for its display that supports the S Pen input. However, you'll need to buy a $40 stylus separately along with a case to hold the S Pen. Uh, so Samsung didn't even include an S Pen slot in the body of it. Uh, so you would have to get a accessory with it. But it's really good that Samsung included in the actual screen digitizer the ability to use the S Pen on the S21 Ultra. And there is now rumors that the Note series is over. Now we've reached the conclusion of this video. So if we were to add up all the points and compare the iPhone 12 Pro Max to the S21 Ultra, we can start by each category. Price and availability, I would say that both these devices are tied uh, because they're just roughly the same price and they don't have any expandable storage or anything like that. In terms of design, I give the edge to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I really like the design and it feels a lot better in the hand than uh, this curved design that we've been getting used to from Samsung. It doesn't feel as premium. Now the display is much better on the S21 Ultra for obvious reasons. Now I can just show you one thing that will really convince you why the display is better so we can go into settings. When we scroll to the bottom, there is the screen resolution right here. So we have uh, the FHD plus resolution, and then we have the highest quality, uh, highest screen resolution right here of 3200 by 1440. And this looks really, really good. Uh, and it's just one of the best parts of this display. And it's at 120 hertz, so the highest refresh rate possible. And it looks amazing. Overall, I give the edge to the S21 Ultra in terms of display, as there's no notch uh, on the S21 Ultra, and it's just a small front-facing camera. And it doesn't really obstruct much. 
and the video will work around that front facing camera. Now in terms of cameras, I give the edge to the iPhone 12 Pro Max as it's optimized much better than the S21 Ultra. Now in terms of performance, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a lot faster as well. And in terms of 5G, I give the edge to the S21 Ultra as it's more optimized for 5G. Now battery and charging, the S21 Ultra 5G also lasts a lot longer due to the 5000 milliamp hour battery versus the 3300 milliamp hour battery on the iPhone. And now in terms of software and special features you get uh, in more advanced Android which has more customization and is open source compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max so uh, that is the final total but I would have to give the slight edge to the iPhone 12 Pro Max just uh, based on everything overall from the camera to the performance to uh, the display to uh, the 5G to the battery and charging to the software and special features I give the edge to the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a winner versus the S21 Ultra 5G. So this Apple and Samsung battle has never been so close. The iPhone 12 Pro Max narrowly wins its face off with the S21 Ultra based on the strength of its performance and better overall image quality. The iPhone's design is also a little more durable uh, and easier to handle with its flat edges. However, the S21 Ultra does win in some important categories thanks to the smoother 120Hz display, faster 5G, and longer battery life. And while the S21 Ultra costs more upfront, it's a bit cheaper if you go with more storage. Uh, so no matter which flagship phone you choose between the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you will not lose uh, because these are two very high quality devices and occupy the spots of the top two phones of the year. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button down below. Leave a comment on what you think, uh, which one you would buy and which one is your favorite. And also be sure to check out other videos on my channel and be sure to follow me on social media. And thanks for watching.